Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stein with tonight's Deep Dive. It is June 14th, 2018. I'm going to talk about gold today. The uh, GLD is the ETF. And we've got a couple things that are popping up here, something that is uh, pretty important. Uh, first, we don't always get trading range information in this very first column, but we do have one in gold. Got the trends all pointed to the downside, and we've got a mixed bag here, and this is always a good thing uh, for a market that has uh, a lot of trading opportunity. So that's this is the main reason, this consolidation, if you will, the trading range, and the, the lack of a technical rating is really the reason we're talking about gold here today. If we pull up the uh, the pro alerts, come all the way over to the lazy day, uh, we have a uh, sideways consolidation. This doesn't always pop up either. It really has to be a tight consolidation, a period of time where the market has really done a lot of nothing for at least 15 trading days, to which we actually have one today. So gold, what's going on there and how can we profit from it? Well, here's gold right through here. This is a daily bars for gold. You can see we had a little bit of a bounce today, and this is kind of uh, showing us that there's a potential for the market to have a bit of a bounce here. So a couple things we want to look at. We've got very strong support that we've been dealing with here just recently, and that number for the support is at 1289.70. That's where that support is right there. And we're butting up against this resistance level because they were below it, uh, and that's at 1309. And then we have another threshold here at uh, 1315. And if we can actually start breaking above these two thresholds, these two resistance levels, if you will, uh, that's going to obviously bring us into interaction with the 200 and the 50-day uh, moving average. And obviously that means there's going to be cons a considerable amount of um, resistance to the market. But if we're able to break above that, then in the near term, we could find ourselves with a nice little breakout to the upside. There's a lot of uh, opportunity that's coming up through here. Now here's the energy level that I point out quite a bit. It's a green line that's telling about the energy level and the fact that we're below this yellow level right through here tells us that market is quite low. And so here is the energy level of all the 40 odd markets that we track. You can see that gold is the lowest, meaning it's in the top tightest consolidation of all the markets and it's not just a uh, just the lowest because you can have certain cases where it's just in that charcoal gray but we're actually talking about a market that's in a really tight consolidation phase and that's where the blue comes into play you can see other markets like corn which are the opposite and soybeans uh, where the market has been in an extremely uh, expansive phase uh, but here's gold nice and tight and uh, putting us in a position that uh, there's really good opportunity for an explosive move. And one of the things I like to point out is when we start looking at consolidation phases, specifically to the energy level, uh, you can see that here is gold that's in that particular phase. This only happens 3% of the time. Now it's been in that phase for a while, but it is certainly one in which the market is in a tight consolidation. And whenever you get that condition where it's uh, uh, in that tight consolidation, you can see that it's only in this phase historically 3% of the time that has to tell you something that something's going to be happening. Still further, if we look at our watch list, uh, here is gold, and I mentioned this, this is where we have our technical overview of the market. And whenever you have a market uh, that is in kind of limbo, as we have right through here, where it's got this left, right, where it's doing a lot of nothing, uh, then that means that there's opportunity. This is where we look at markets. We don't look at the markets that have been in extremely strong trending phases, plus or minus, bullish or bearish. What we're looking for are the markets that are likely to make big moves. And where do they begin? Well, my friends, this is where it begins. When we look at the, the, the watch list here, and we have these types of markets, sugar, cotton, euro, Canadian dollar, British pound, Australian dollar, 
and gold. Uh, this is these are the phases. This is the markets uh, that typically are going to do pretty well for ourselves. Now, where do we stand then with our trading at the present time? Uh, we have just the the one system that's long. Uh, it's just a 90 minute bar system, but it's setting up for something. Uh, it got long today. It's already at 450 bucks, and I like showing these. Uh, sometimes I show trades that have existed for a while and we've exited. Copper could be a good example today, but for the most part, when it comes to um, other phases, markets that are just beginning, lean hogs, as I mentioned about yesterday, and then obviously uh, gold here today, this is the opportunity we're looking for. So I would have you look uh, at this uh, particular market. You can see this is a swing base, so this is kind of an early phase type trade. It won't be until we start getting into some of the trend based systems that uh, we'd actually start to see a little bit more to it. But at least as a minimum, it's just a 90 minute system, it's the Vega system. It's now long, and we're looking for a good opportunity. So that's what I'm going to talk about for uh, for gold here today. The other thing I want to point out is that basically this. Um, I've added my Twitter feed to the site because I post so many things. Some people know me through Twitter, some people do not. And because I post so much information, I thought that I would at least uh, show certain things. So here was uh, something that I just recently put out, uh, you know, which market is in the tightest consolidation, soybeans, gold, or RBOB. Well, the answer to that was gold and is gold. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing people to the site so they have an opportunity to actually see that markets are in some of these tight consolidations. So 95% of this information is going to be hard-hitting information, uh, market analysis information that's going to tell you uh, what's taking place, try to direct you to particular markets that you should be focused on, uh, and giving you some statistics uh, that will allow you to get some perspective on the markets. And then there's always the, the fun thing where um, someone had put out, a friend of mine put out something that he's never had spaghettos. And uh, obviously I'm kind of a grammar freak, so spaghetto is the singular version for spaghetti. That's 100% that's true. So um, most of the stuff that we put out is going to be legit and it's going to go into a lot of information. But uh, occasionally we'll put out some fun things, a lot of trivia, and if you want, what you do is you come to uh, signals, you come to market analysis. I know it's my Twitter feed, but because I put out so much information about the, the markets and then give links specifically back to the pages that references that information, um, this is something that's probably been a long time coming, but something I wanted to actually add to the site. So uh, you just simply have to come to uh, signals and then market analysis and you'll have access to uh, all of the information I put out on Twitter and then if you choose you can click on it since you're on the website and go directly to the page in question uh, so that it can give you some perspective on the market what's taking place and why is the uh, the chart that I'm putting out there important uh, and there'll be a little description on the individual page itself so hopefully you find this uh, of interest we're going to be adding more um, webinars in the in the coming uh, days and weeks so we'll have another page there uh, the other thing I'll point out the other thing I just recently added was if you come to signals you come down to Fibonacci patterns I'll do something about that but uh, that's another page that you can look at as well that I just recently added and then there's going to be a more legitimate uh, webinar page that will lie if you choose to to sign up for some of the free webinars we put out there and that should be coming hopefully over the course of the weekend or early part of next week and we're trying to add more and more material to the website to, to keep people informed so thanks very much for watching have a great Father's Day weekend for those of us that are fathers uh, and then uh, we will talk to you I'll probably do something over the weekend if not we'll do something um, on Monday and we'll kind of go from there thanks very much and enjoy your trading